Washington President Donald Trump's longtime director of security told House investigators this week that a foreigner offered to send five women to Trump's hotel room during his visit to Moscow in November 2013. Keith Schiller told the House Intelligence Committee on Tuesday that he rejected the offer from the man, who appeared to be Russian or Ukrainian, according to two people familiar with the discussion. He quickly dismissed what appeared to be a suggestion of procuring prostitutes for Trump, they said. No, man, we're not interested in that, Schiller told the man, the people said. The offer came at the end of a late morning planning meeting that Schiller attended when he accompanied Trump to Moscow for the annual Miss Universe pageant which was produced by a company that Trump owned. The 2013 trip was at the epicenter of one of the most salacious claims in a now famous research dossier financed by Democrats during the 2016 presidential campaign. The document alleged that Trump consorted with prostitutes during his time in Moscow, a claim the president has vehemently denied. Schiller, Trump's longtime bodyguard who frequently accompanied him on trips, told congressional investigators that he saw no compromising, illicit or illegal behavior by Trump while in Moscow, according to the People. The offer to send women to Trump's room came after Schiller said he attended a meeting in Moscow with about 15 people to discuss details of the pageant. Among those in attendance were Russian pop star Amin Agalarov and his father Eros Agalarov, a business magnate with close ties to the government of President Vladimir Putin according to the people familiar with his interview. As the meeting broke up, Schiller said a man he did not know approached him and asked if he would like five women to visit Trump at his hotel room later that night, he told investigators.